Hello, this is Mrs. Cox with Fifth Grade Math. We are working in Chapter 12 on the Check My Progress. We are on page 921. All right, let's dive into this. A couple of helpful things that will help you is um, hopefully you guys put sticky notes on some of these pages. Um, sticky notes on the page 916 because it talks about classifying triangles by angles and on the back side classifying it by sides and then also you're going to need a sticky note on the polygon page and just for future reference that is a page 904. Um, I also just for feasibility on filming I did print out those classification of triangles by sides and angles to help out with this. So those things will help you with this lesson today. Also please remember that you have an Alex homework assignment to do on your own after this of 10 simple questions and all of those notes I just mentioned to you will help you out with that. All right, let's dive into this check my progress. All right, we are talking about number one, a triangle with no congruent sides. Is a scalene triangle true or false? So let's talk about a triangle. Okay, here is our classification by sides, no congruent sides. Yep, that is true. Okay, next one, a polygon that has four sides and four angles is a pentagon. Well, let's go to our page 904 where we can see a pentagon. Pentagon, oh, pentagon has five sides. Quadrilateral is the four sides. So right here, this statement right here is false. Sides or angles with the same measurement are congruent. That is true because that's what congruent, congruent means is the same length or the same measurement would work as well. And number four, a right triangle is a triangle with two right angles. Well, if I look at a right triangle, there is only one. So that statement is not true. So we're going to put false. All right, concept checked. Name each polygon. Determine if it is to be regular or not regular. Now, just a quick FYI. If it's regular, here's our page on 904. If it's regular, then all of the sides measure the same or they're congruent. See how this one's regular, this one's not regular, because there are still eight sides here, but they're not congruent. And by the way, yes, octagon, octagon, regular, not regular. All right, let's bounce back over here. Okay, name each polygon, determine if it appears to be regular or not regular. So we're going to count the sides, one, two, three, four, five, and that is going to be a pentagon with five sides. We're gonna write pentagon. And the sides are not the same, so then we're going to say not regular. All right, number six. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, we have our lovely little octagon, because remember an octopus has eight arms. So an octagon has eight sides. And trying to write and spell at the same time is not working for me this morning. And they're all the same length, so we're gonna say this is regular. All right, good nicely done. Okay, this one is where um, we measure the sides of each triangle to the nearest tenth of a centimeter, then describe the number of congruent sides. So we have one with the measure and then two. So each answer is gonna require two Two things that we do. Now, I'm sure none of you have these cute little handy dandy rulers left, so you're welcome to just follow along with me as I do mine. All right, so if we're gonna measure this right here, we're going to see that if I put the line right there, it's gonna be 1.5. And they do look all the same, but just to make sure, I'm gonna measure 1.5 and then come right here and measure 1.5. All right, they are all the same, or in other words, we can say they are all congruent. And we're gonna say that this cute little thing is the shape of a triangle. And now it wants us to describe the number of congruent sides. We're gonna say, well, it has three 
congruent. Remember to spell our fabulous friend from the Minions, Gru. Gru. Three congruent sides. Ta-da! All right, number eight. Gonna measure this one again. Ooh, there's a right angle. Ooh, so this kind of tells me which triangle it might be because it has a right angle. But let's go ahead and measure because that's what it wants us to do first. About two and a half. And then let's measure this one. Two and a half. Yay! And this one would be about three and a half. Okay. Again, we need to measure the sides. Now describe the number of congruent sides. Great. We're going to say that this, it's a right triangle, but it's not asking us for us to name that, but it's trying to tell us how many congruent sides. And we have two congruent Two congruent sides. Nicely done, friends. Okay, so that finishes 921. Let's go over to 922. All right. Name the polygon shown by the video game screen at the right. Determine if it appears to be regular or not regular. All right, so two things that they want us to do here. One, they want us to name the polygon, and two, they want us to determine if it's regular or not regular. So we're going to need two answers for this. So looking back on this page right here, which of these polygons is it? Is it a triangle with three sides? Pentagon, quadrilateral of four. By the way, Latin quad means four. Hexagons or an octagon? Yep, you're right. I see four sides, four angles, and four vertices. Or remember, vertices is another word for corner. So we're going to say this is a fancy quadrilateral. That great big word. Q-U-A-D. And all of the sides are not the same side. So we're going to say it's not regular. Even though it looks really nice. It's not a regular quadrilateral. For it to be a regular, it would have to look like that one. Okay, nicely done. Let's go to number 10. Steve has three lengths of fence. He connects them to make a triangular pen for his dog. If the lengths are five, six, and 10, what type of triangle is formed by the dog pen? Well, let's kind of draw it. We don't have to be super picky. So this one will be about five, this one will be about six, Six, and we'll say this one is about 10. So what type of triangle would form that? Let's look at our classifying by sides. Do you see a triangle that looks like that where there's no congruent sides? Yep, you're right. A scaling triangle. All right, number 11. Name the polygon shown by the banner the right. Determine if it appears to be regular or not regular. Okay, let's look at it. We are going to name the triangle on the right. This triangle has two long sides and one short side. But it also... Oh, it wants us to name as a polygon, so it wants us to do this. Because out of all of these shapes, right here, whoops, it has three sides. So this banner has three sides, so it is considered a triangle. Then, is it regular or not regular? Well, regular would mean that all the sides are the same, and it's not. So we're going to say not regular. All right, number 12, what types of triangles are formed by the diagonal of a square and its sides? Explain. All right, so the first thing it wants us to do is figure out a square. So if I draw a square over here, pretend all the sides are congruent or the same, then it wants us to make the diagonal of the square. So it wants us to turn it into a square that has been divided and looks like that. <clears throat> it wants to know 
how we can explain what kind of triangles are formed by it. So if I do that, I see a letter L right here, and I see a letter L right there. So I know that these are right angles because they can fit in that letter L. Also, it helps us figure out if it has a right angle, it's considered a right triangle. That is it, how we classify that by its angles. Now, if we were to classify it by its side, what would it look like? Two sides are the same, are congruent, and one side is long. So two sides are congruent, we'll say isosceles. Okay, that's how we can classify that. <clears throat> and it wants us to explain. We'll just say a square has four right angles. One, two, three, four. If we were to do a little before we cut it in half, these would be right angles as well. And four congruent sides. They never give us enough room in these math books, do they? And then, um, just have your picture over here showing that you drew it in half to equal two triangles with a right angle and two congruent sides. Okay, that's <clears throat> all we need for number 12. Let's move to number 13. Lindsay was going to visit her grandmother, shop at the mall, and return home. The route she took was the shape of a triangle. Okay, well, we can draw that just fine. The shape of the triangle. Each place she visited was 10 miles. Okay, so we need to have each of these sides be congruent. I'm sure you can draw it better than I, but you need to make sure that each of the sides sort of look like they're the same length, so they're all congruent. What type of triangles formed by the route she traveled? All right, let's look at our sides because we are talking about sides. All sides are congruent is equilateral. So we're gonna say equilateral. She traveled in equilateral, and we know this because all the sides are congruent. Great job. Number 14, an equilateral triangle is folded in half. So, take that triangle and pretend to fold it in half, or we can just kind of do a light line through there. What type of triangle is folded? formed. Okay, so what type of triangle is formed? Well, if I look at this, do you think each of those sides would be congruent or the same? Yep, you're right. They would all have different measurements, so it would be a scalene. This stuff's pretty fun, but you got to remember to keep track of your notes so that you can categorize it correctly. All right, send me a picture showing me that you've done this check my progress, and then you need to go to Alex and do the 10 questions. It is labeled chapter 12, check my progress. And there's only 10 short questions and you will need um, these two and then you'll need your polygon page, which again is on page 904. All right, thanks guys.